can you please give us an update on stick debug and JIT for new iOS 26? Yes, I have figured it out. I'll have a video posted within a week. Post it sooner. Post it sooner, please. Rip, JIT iOS not 26 I did the stick debug bug. Same here, same here. Same here. Same here. Same Same Good evening and welcome to Everyday iTech. If you missed it, I made a video on how to play Nintendo Switch games directly on your iPhone and iPad. The only problem is iOS 26 broke JIT, which is needed to run Melon X, the Nintendo Switch emulator, smoothly and fluidly on your iDevice. But don't worry, I found a fix. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to get JIT working on iOS 26 in Melon X so you can play your Nintendo Switch games. Super exciting and before we get started, all I ask is that you guys like this video and subscribe to see more content like this. Let's get started. Alright, so as of right now, Stick Debug has still yet to be fully updated for iOS 26, which the developers are currently working on. So you guys can see it right here, it says limited compatibility on iOS 26 and later, some apps may not function as expected yet. We're actively improving support over time. Alright, so I am on iOS 26 on the iPhone 17 Pro, and you guys can see right here in Melon X, it says JIT enabled. So basically, just follow my video on Melon X for the Nintendo Switch emulator, which I'll put down below in the description. And once you get to the point of enabling JIT using the Stick Debug app, come back to this video. Okay, so we are now back in the Stick Debug app. And if you follow my other video that I mentioned, you should have already connected your pairing file. Anyways, the Stick Debug app did get a huge update. I could see that it has a completely new look. And anyways, when you first load up the app, you want to make sure that you have all these five check marks to make sure that it's ready to go. Basically, you don't have to do anything, just wait for it to load. And that's it. Anyways, before we go, ahead and do anything you want to tap on these settings in the bottom right and then scroll down and you guys will see an option for picture and picture make sure this option is enabled as this is needed for ios 26 anyways once that option is enabled you can go back and now for melon x we do need an updated version for ios 26 that supports jit so i'm going to go ahead and delete this old version of melon x All right, so now we can install the beta newer release of Melon X. So down below in the description will be the link to the Melon X website. You can scroll down and click on their Discord and find their beta release for Melon X. Now, if you're having trouble downloading the beta version of Melon X through Discord, this beta version of Melon X can also be downloaded from this Google Drive link, which I'll post down below in the description as well. But anyways, it's going to download this beta release as it contains the update to get JIT working on Melon X on iOS 26. Anyways, again, you can install it using Sideloadly, so just simply drag and drop, and just go to wait. Alright, so just like that, we have the new beta version of Melon X on our iPhone or iPad. Now tap on into it. Again, you do have to import your prod and title keys again. And same with the firmware. It should crash. That's perfectly normal. Just tap on it to open it back up. And we are in. You guys can see the new and updated redesign. And let's go ahead and add our games. I just created a separate folder where I just put all my Nintendo Switch game ROMs just to keep everything organized. And I just want to say when you try to add another game, it says JIT like this. So you do have to close out the app, reopen it to add another game. So just go ahead and add a game, close the app, open it up and add your next game and just keep on doing that same thing over and over again until you have all your games in here. Okay, now before we go ahead and get started, tap on the settings on the bottom right. First, go over to the MISC section and then scroll down. Make sure Stick Debug is enabled. Dual Mapped JIT is enabled. And then tap on Advanced and make sure Show Logs While Loading is also enabled. From here, just a side note, you can go and tap on Input. And I had a bunch of people asking me if you could use a physical controller to play your Nintendo Switch games. And yes, you can. So you can see that in this Input section. And that's going to be for a different video. But I just wanted to show you guys that the option is available. All right, and aside from that, you guys can see that Melon X Beta has also adopted this liquid glass UI as well, so that is really cool. And it also shows you the quality of a ROM. So you guys can see this one says playable, and this one says perfect. Okay, so now let's launch Stick Debug. Make sure it has all the necessary checks. Everything is in the green. Cool. Let's tap on Connect by App, and then tap on Melon X.
here now if we go into settings you guys can see jit is now enabled and acquired so this is so cool on ios 26 And of course, for the get more RAM to be enabled, that's in my previous video, so just going to follow those steps. But anyways, with JIT and increased memory limit enabled, we can now go to tap on our games. So I am loading up Super Mario Odyssey, and oh boy, I am so excited to play this on my iPhone 17 Pro. And I did bore out the Nintendo IPs just for copyright purposes. If you guys want to keep this picture and picture open, so I like to keep my phone in portrait mode for this part so I could see the little loading and everything, just to make sure everything is going correctly. And once it says you are safe to close, I could go and tap right here. And now I can put my phone into landscape. Anyways, during the cutscenes, it may go black as it did for me. So I'm just going to keep on spamming the pause button just so I could go and skip through. And if I looks like that, we could go and skip. Now, if you get an error saying handling breakpoints, just go and close both Melon X and stick debug completely and try again. For me personally, it took a total of like five to six tries to get it to work. And now it works consistently. So again, it's a little fidgety, a lot more smooth than iOS. 18 but it'll only get updated for ios 26 and become more and more smooth just going to make sure that when you load up in melon x from stick debug when you go into the settings that jit is enabled and also increased memory limit is enabled so that's that get more ram and also if that doesn't work try a different game and again this is on my iphone 17 pro on ios 26 really really cool and the first time opening up a game the game might be a little bit laggy but as you keep on playing it it just gets smooth and smoother i've noticed so there it is guys so here we are now playing super mario odyssey on the iphone 17 pro on ios 26 again this will work on any other device on ios 26 as well and it's just so crazy that we could actually play nintendo switch games on the latest model of iphones and ipads on the latest version of ios all without a jailbreak wow this is such a vibe especially with halloween right around the corner just being able to take your whole nintendo switch library on your iphone or ipad iPad is just absolutely incredible and guys stay tuned because I do have many many more videos on cool stuff and amazing videos that you guys can do on your iPhone and iPad you're not gonna want to miss out so make sure they do get subscribed and also please be sure to like this video and comment down below it really helps me out share this video as well with your friends I tech a lot how often do I tech well every day I tech I'll keep you guys posted on all the latest and greatest stuff that you guys can do that not many people are talking about and it takes a lot of research and stuff to make these videos so i really would appreciate it if you guys could help me out with the algorithm but yeah the game is running super smooth actually and it's just so awesome to see mario actually be playable on the iphone as a kid i would always search videos on how to actually play the real deal on the iphone and ipad on ios and now it's actually time that we're able to actually do it and it's all without a joke break there's so much that we could do without a joke break nowadays and yeah i really love the new iphones if you guys missed it i also did make a video showing the camera comparisons of the iphone air versus iphone 17 versus iphone 17 pro and i will also be doing a what's on my iphone videos here very very shortly and there's some cool stuff this thing is really pretty awesome it's an iphone that i actually love and i'm super excited for so finally a great upgrade and so many people are upgrading as well which shows that this is truly a great device and the cosmic orange color of the iphone 17 pro has really grown on me on my first impressions i must admit i did not like it at all but just using it it's crazy i completely 180'd and i actually really love this cosmic orange color before my favorite color was the rose gold but i think the cosmic orange might have topped it anyways back on topic super mario odyssey we got our hats and everything it's just working super nicely and the graphics look absolutely incredible definitely very very playable at a smooth fps with the occasional stutters but yeah all right so i really hope that this worked for you if you have any questions comments or concerns please be sure to leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can enjoy playing nintendo switch games on the latest ios 26 have a great night this is everyday i tech later
was too young And I didn't understand that 